Ladies and gentlemen, the Night of Destruction number three, 2014, the finale of the Low Budget. Oh my goodness, season two <laughs> has been nuts, Tommy, but one of the things that we saw for the first time this season, auto soccer. Yep. It's crazy. Very true. Now, like we've mentioned before, we've done auto soccer, but it's been a long time since auto soccer's been back, yep. and we've never done it in these vehicles. Here we go again. Yep. I've got that old Volvo station wagon, and you have a new car adding it to this one. I have that junked up piece of crap figure eight skip play car that we ran a couple times ago. That thing is such a piece of junk that we're like, let's kill it. We wanted to kill both of our cars going into this event. The question's gonna be, can we? How are they gonna be doing? Last time we saw your car, Tommy, on camera, it wouldn't start. No, that car was through its paces, and I think it was trying to die before the event. Um, and we had a lot of work to do. I had to put a, a hand throttle, so I'm gonna be driving out there with my hand holding onto the throttle cable out there. I also had to put a gallon of gas in that thing and charge the dead battery. The battery is completely yeah. dead. In the last auto soccer, it did something where as soon as you hook up the battery cable, the fan for the motor and the radiator just turns out of nowhere. <laughs> this car is possessed and we're gonna kill it out there. Yeah, um, and the big question is, is your car ever gonna make it off the track? Yeah, and that's one that I've been sweating on the entire day because I haven't been able to have any time to work on this. And yeah. we've got so many other cars that we had to prepare for. And that car literally is gonna be, it's trial and error yeah. as soon as I get inside of it. Yeah. My car's not much better. Last time we saw it on the low budgets, when we were working on it, we took it over and gave it a wash or whatever the heck yeah. we did before the paint job. It was stalling out. On top of that, the steering wheel is locking up. Both these, these cars These are cars drunk. know. They know the future. They know what's coming. So, Auto Soccer, Tommy, we're teamed up with Ken Palmer, a yeah. guy with uh, Jan's towing. So, the three of us are going to go once again up against Pick Your Park, Robert Rice, and his crew. I don't know if we have a lot of expectations for us going into this, besides we should see some beat up cars at the end of it. And absolutely. And we have told Robert and his team that don't play nice on our cars because we don't want them to run. So, how about we do it? Auto Soccer Tournament number two of the 2014 low budget season. Try that. Yeah, the guy, he helped me get this started and he took it with him. Let me try that. See if not, I'll get the toolbox. That, I think that'll do it. Let me check. Lifesaver. Do you mind if I hold on to this and swing it by?
what a ridiculous event that was. Auto Man. soccer here on we the got, finale. We got spanked again. We got run over. Not and surprising. No, not at all. Those guys are pros. Those guys are top notch in everything they do, including auto soccer. I'm pretty sure they practice in the Walmart parking lot. But man, did your car just not want to work. What happened? All right, so we always joke about sometimes we think these cars hear us talking. And this car, all we've been talking about is killing it. Well, you know, first off, to start my car, I need a screwdriver. And you see me throughout this event, well, I should say just before the event, with a screwdriver starting the car. Now, back to what we said before this event started, I've been having problems with the steering wheel locking up. Well, as I'm starting to pull out of the pit, my steering wheel's locked up. I'm just going, <laughs> I have to stop, I have to shut it off, start it back up, steering wheel locks again, okay. I'm doing all this, and then our crew guy, Keith, he comes in, he hops in the side window. Last time we saw Keith, he was trying to take down a wall, Yeah. by the exactly. way. That's, yep. that's the same Keith. He's the guy that belongs on our team, man. <laughs> He yeah. right, fits right in. So so he goes in, he helps me get it started. I get it unstuck and I'm like, all right, let's go. I drive off, right? Well, I didn't realize he was still holding my screwdriver when I left. Oh. My screwdriver, my key for this car is gone. Now, that's fine as long as the car doesn't stall, right? As I pull out on the track, the car stalls. <laughs> I go to reach for the screwdriver and it's gone. And I'm like, no! I was thinking you're just gonna take the show off and just go and watch that one. <laughs> and then and then Flipper, who we know very well, he's in the police car and I tell him, I'm like, Flip, if you can push me in the pits or something, yeah. I can get this car started. I can run this event. He's like, I gotta get this thing started. See you later. But he got on the radio and said, guys, that car needs a screwdriver. Does anyone have one? The fire crew pulls over. They have one of those doohickeys and I'm able to get the star car started once. And that was the last time that thing ever cranked over. Man. I couldn't I couldn't get the tool to work again. Oh, yeah. Now, that was a bummer, too, because I was looking forward to running into you a few times. So, I don't think it stopped you. No, it didn't. <laughs> I haven't tried to help you out. Yeah. I didn't know that you were missing a, a world-famous screwdriver. <laughs> um, my Volvo, as you saw, got banged up, battered and bruised, <laughs> did not finish, had a door open, Passing your side seat was already shoved into the driver's side and area. No hood. <laughs> and no hood. We go out there without a hood. I've never seen the motor jump out of the car and then back in it as I'm shifting gears and revving that throttle up. Man, with that car a blast to drive. And I'm very grateful that I got to kill it out there. Isn't it ridiculous how much a blast it was to drive? After all the expectations yeah. of that car, barely, we weren't even expecting it to make it onto the track. And you were doing donuts out there. Yeah, that car ran like a champ until the radiator fell out forward of the engine. It literally fell forward out of the car. <laughs> and what was the final oh. score for the event? What? I think it was six to one again, something like that. It was, it was, it was, it was. But, but we, I mean, the second that my car had its issues, we were at our deficit. We knew that we the were. The second we had 14 of our team versus theirs, we're at a disadvantage. Man, those guys are too good out there. And well, that's what we love for it. Uh, but yeah, we got hammered in that one. Ken Palmer did a great job a lot of himself. Yeah. You know, I tried to help him as much as I could. <laughs> I was driving a car that I needed three hands to drive. Favorite moment was when I did the 360. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was not- Hand throttle and everything. I was not expecting that. I guess I've got two favorite moments. That one, and when I just pulled out in front of Robert Rice and his crew, and they had two cars steaming right towards his uh, goal, and I just backed up right in front of them, and they never lifted, and they plowed that station wagon <laughs> and took me for a ride. And I was laughing the whole time because I, that's what the fans want to see. Yeah. They love to see that ball moving around. They don't care who's winning or not, but they also like to see Tarnit. Yeah, they And do. that's what they got to see. It's not a destruction. That's right. Uh, favorite moments for me. I have three of them, and they're literally the three things that happened to me in auto soccer. <laughs> yeah. The first one is when you came over and just, I see you backing up, and I'm like, oh, he's going to do it. <laughs> and he completely just drilled the front end of my car like mm -hmm. we're in a derby. Yeah. That was funny. Then, of course, you pushed me. Uh, once I actually got I the ball, you, I shoved you into the ball. Yeah. Once I got the ball, the second time I found out I didn't have any brakes, <laughs> and I slammed, I slammed so hard into the side of that orange car, it didn't even do a dent to that thing. No. Oh my gosh! And then the the third moment in this auto soccer for me, uh, Flipper did roll up and he pushed me out of the arena. Well, what happened was when he did that, my steering wheel locked up, <laughs> so my car's just doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was a ridiculous event. We knew it was going to be. Yeah. And you know what? 
the worst part about it all is we're already talking about trying to fix that stupid double oh, zero again. Man. We're gonna get we're gonna get that car, whatever it is, and however it does. We're gonna kill it properly. We gotta burn it down to the ground. Yes. And uh, I think it's only a matter of time until we don't get invited back for Auto Soccer because <laughs> they I'm sure everybody wants to see better competition. We don't care. Yeah. We're out there to have fun. Yeah, well I think that the fans had fun. I know we had fun. Uh, Robert Rice's team was probably asleep by the end of that. Yeah. But you know what? That's event number two of seven of the destruction events on Night of Destruction. Man, what did we get ourselves into? <sighs> Next up, the skid plate race.